In this lesson, we're going to learn how to get data into our Ruby scripts or our interactive Ruby sessions using a function called get s. So let's get started. We're going to use the Ruby shell, the interactive Ruby shell, throughout this lesson. So let's go ahead and load it. What I say here applies to Ruby scripts, as we'll see in the next chapter. So to get data into our script, we use get s. So this line is going to retrieve data from the keyboard and store it in the variable name. So when I hit enter, the cursor stops waiting for me to enter data from the keyboard. And then when I do that, it's going to return the value stored in the variable. If I type Jane, it returns Jane along with an appended or concatenated new line character, which is a feature of get s. What that means is that if I access the variable value, I'm going to get the new line character every time. Watch what happens when I print name. It prints the name, and then because there's a new line, it brings the system prompt down to a new line to display nil, which is the return value of the print function. If I don't want a new line to be written, what I can do is use a function called chomp, like this. Now notice it prints the value Jane, and then the system prompt is on the same line, meaning that it deleted or chomped off the new line character from the string Jane. So anytime I don't want the new line effect, all I have to do is reference the variable or the string value with chomp, and then the new line is ignored. Now let's look at what happens when we use get s with numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter two numbers into variables and then try to do addition on them. So you see what happened, and you may have already guessed what was going to happen. Get s receives all of its data as string, and that's what it then applies or assigns to a variable. If we want to use number one and number two's values as whole numbers, the numbers one and two, we have to convert them to whole number form using a function called integer, like this. Now we get the result 3, just like we expected. We can also do the same thing with floating point numbers. Here's another example. So you see we're still working with strings. To convert these values to floating point, we use the function float. And there we get the result that we want. So in summary, get s is the function we use to get data from the console or from the keyboard and store it in our programs. It retrieves data and stores it as a string, and if we want to use numeric values, then we have to use what's called a conversion function, such as integer or float, to convert those from string values to numeric values. So that wraps up this lesson on input using get s, and now we're ready to move to the exercise for this chapter.